analyzing the results of the treadmill test is the most important part of the treadmill test. So in the previous video, you saw our patient, patient A, complete the Buffalo concussion treadmill test. So let's give a little bit of insight on who she is and her history and why she's here. She's 16 years of age and her, she had a moderate to severe concussion diagnosed by a pediatric neurologist after she slammed her head against the ground at cheerleading practice. There was a loss of consciousness, which is pretty severe as it only occurs in 9 to 18 percent of all kids who have a concussion. But currently, at the time of the video, she had no symptoms at rest. Her resting measures were 98 beats per minute at rest. Um, and at the peak of the test, we got up to 155 beats per minute at a RPE of 19 and a grand total workload of 9.4 METs. The test was terminated because she had a sudden onset of head and neck pain generalized and nausea rated at a 4 out of 10. This right here, 9.4 METs and 155 beats per minute, represents our symptom threshold. Our symptom threshold is then used to create a home exercise prescription. The general recommendation is to use 80% of symptom threshold and 80% of 155 beats per minute is 124 beats per minute. That would be your max heart rate to work at currently. Currently, she is beginning a walk to jog program at a two to one ratio. Jogging is rated at a seven to eight, around a seven or eight METs and her highest workload that she reached during the test was a 9.4. As long as she can count her heart rate or record it through a heart rate monitor and keep it below 124 beats per minute, she can run up to a mile walking and jogging at a two to one ratio. That is how you analyze the results of a Buffalo concussion treadmill test and apply it to patient care.